Hey guys, this is Steve at the Scroll Saw Workshop. I want to take you all through a little Corel Draw demonstration today. Um, a couple days ago, I put up a pattern on the blog to uh, create a small jewelry box, and uh, I did that pattern to demonstrate some very basic 3D cutting. But what I'd like to do today is go ahead and take you through a demonstration of how to create those boxes. Um, you can basically make a scroll saw box um, any shape you'd like. If you can get it on the screen, you can make a, a box out of it. And I want to take you through the steps to do that today. And uh, what we'll do is we'll create a small heart box that you can uh, cut out. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is come over here to the icon toolbar and select your basic shapes icon and up in the properties bar you'll see a perfect shapes icon click that and select your heart now what we're going to do is go ahead and draw the heart on the screen about the size you want your box to be and select your pick tool and the first thing we want to do is make a couple of copies of this because uh, we're going to use the two of the copies for the top and bottom of the box. So go ahead and right click on the pattern with it selected, drag it over and do copy here and do the same thing again. Right click with your mouse and drag it over and copy here. So now we have the top and the bottom of the box and we can set those aside until we need them later. The next thing we need to do is create a contour on the inside of this box to match the outside for the interior walls. The easiest way to do that in Corel Draw is with your interactive contour tool, and it's right here. If you click and hold this down, you'll see you have a list of icons right here. So if your contour tool is not up, just click and hold the mouse down and come over and select interactive contour tool. Once we do that, in the properties window, we've got some properties we need to set to make this happen. We have uh, two center inside and outside contours and the one we want selected is uh, inside. We also have the contour steps and we need one there if it's not already set to one set it to one and we want to create a contour that's offset by a quarter of an inch which is 0.25. So go ahead and if it's not 0.25 set it to that and you'll see what happens is it creates a contour of the exterior of the heart shape inside offset by a quarter of an inch. Now what we can do with that shape selected is we can go up to a range and break contour apart. And the reason we're going to do that is because right now that's one object uh, that just has a contour offset set to it. And we want both of those hearts to be two different objects. So go ahead and do break contour group apart from your arrange menu item. And now what we've got is we've got uh, an inside heart and an outside heart that can both individually be selected. The next step we want to do is go ahead and carefully select the inside heart, right click and drag, and then do copy here. And the reason we did that is because we're going to create the interior walls of the ball uh, of the box out of this shape here. But let's go back to the exterior walls and uh, put them back together so they're all one unit. So right now we have the larger heart in the back and the smaller heart in front. So what we want to do is select both of those by using our pick tool and draw on the selector icon around both of them. And that will bring up our uh, uh, back minus front, front minus back, and all these tools up here for changing the shapes. And what we want to do is we want to subtract the inside heart from the outside. So the front minus back. And that's this icon right here, back minus front. Click on the back minus front. And what we did is we cut the inside heart out of the inside heart. Heart, uh, the back heart. And if we go ahead and color that in, you can see now what we have is the exterior walls of this box. And uh, this will be the uh, bottom of the box or uh, the top, depending on how you put it together. And this piece will fit on top of here when we put the wood together. So we'll have the bottom, this will be the outside walls, and this will be the inside walls. So now we need to go ahead and create the inside walls. So bring the inside heart back over. Again, select your interactive contour tool. We want it to be a quarter of an inch also. So we can go ahead and set that to a quarter of an inch. Let's go ahead and break these two apart so we can put them back together again. So we do a range, break contour group apart. Now we have two different items. We have a, the front item, which is a smaller heart, and the back item, back heart, which is the uh, larger heart. Select both of them with your pick tool. 
and again we're going to do back minus front and that created a cutout shape and if we go ahead and select that now we have the interior of the uh, box and you can see now what's happened is this fits exactly inside the outside of the box so what we'll do is we'll cut this piece and this piece both out of uh, three quarter inch material and we'll cut this piece and this piece out of quarter inch material so what we'll do is we'll apply this to the top of this box right here and when we go to and then we'll glue this to this and then when we go to place the box on it'll fit perfectly down inside there and we have a nice little uh, 3D heart box um, the other thing you can do is on the top of the box here you could go ahead and uh, cut out some more patterns around it let's say if we wanted to create a smaller heart or a series of hearts we could do this and let's say let's make a copy of that one double click on it and rotate it a little bit we'll double click on this one and rotate this a little bit and we can move this down here and say this down here probably ought to do three of them to make it look better copy this here double click let's rotate it on around like that Eh, not a very good design but you'll get the idea of what I'm trying to do anyway now we can go ahead and select that and front minus back and eh, that looks pretty bad let's go ahead and erase that but you get the idea you could uh, do some cutouts in the top of this box maybe some initials or uh, uh, something like that whoever you were giving it to you could go up and uh, select a nice font draw the initials in there and do front minus back and then cut the initials out so that's the uh, process you go to to uh, create a small scroll saw box um, I like this style of box because with the uh, inside interior being centered over the same size as the outside the box fits together nice and, and uh, evenly and you don't have any any obvious openings uh, for the box so it makes a pretty nice looking box you can go ahead and look at the uh, uh, the uh, demonstration video that I did the other day on the little 3D leaf pattern that we put on the box to get an idea of what the box will look like. In this case, it'll just be shaped like a heart. Anyway, I hope you like this demonstration and uh, go ahead and make you some boxes. Uh, they make nice little gifts. Again, you can find this pattern and other patterns at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Thanks for looking and we'll see you in the next video.